After a spring break, the UCI Women's World Tour returned with the 10th race and 13th day of competition of the 2021 season. La Course by Le Tour de France always provides fantastic entertainment and it would be the same this year, even with an early start. I try to go to bed early. I mean, I try not to sit on my phone. I try to just read or calm down before going to bed so then it's easier to fall asleep and then it's not so bad actually you know you just have to wake up around six so you still get a good sleep so i don't believe that you really have to force yourself to do something special uh no not a morning person it did hurt to wake up at that hour this morning plenty of coffees but um i'm sure as soon as we start racing i'll be awake <laughs> It's a race which is really important for women cycling. Uh, many people are watching it, so it's uh, it's important. Um, on the other end, always early. <laughs> Strange times for us. Uh, a lot of traveling, mostly uh, for one day race. So it's a bit always a hate-love relationship. Uh, I think when we change it to a stage race next year, will be different. Uh, will be normal times. Will be organized better for us. So uh, yeah, that's a really positive thing. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I think it's a beautiful region and the course looks really, really exciting. I think it's going to be very aggressive and, and quite unpredictable racing. And yeah, we've seen all the women's races so far this year. It's um, really exciting. So looking forward to it. The Breton town of Brest in the far northwest of France hosted the start of the 107.4 kilometer race. And it was action from the start. The local continental teams trying to create the day's breakaway. But that proved to be hard work. Though Naomi Abgral of Stade Rochelet Charente Maritime won the points on the Côte de Trebiolin. The aggression continued over the top until finally Cedrine Curbeol of Team Arkea and Elena Peroni got away, building a lead of around one minute. The pair worked very well together, but on the first of four ascents of the Côte de la Fosse au Loup, Curbeol was dropped, and as the peloton kicked off behind, Pironi found herself in a group of 12 strong riders as the race took on three undulating 14-kilometer circuits around the Finnish town of Londoneau. On the second ascent, it was world champion Anna van der Breggen who attacked, dragging what was left of the peloton across the gap to the leaders and setting the race alight. Once again, though, on the descent from the day's main climb, another group of 12 women got clear. And with many of the best teams represented, it seemed as though they would fight for the win. But when newly crowned French champion Yves de Music tried to catch them, the gap came down quickly, the Umbo Visma chasing hard. The leading group was caught as they passed through the town of Londoneau, just ahead of the final ascent of the Fosse au Loup. On the climb and Canyon Sram forced a small group of seven women off the front. But Anna van der Breggen kept the pace high with teammate Demi Vollering on the wheel of Mariana Voss. And it was the Jumbo Visma rider who opened her sprint first, but she locked across to see Vollowing, who came over the top to take her second UCI Women's World Tour win of 2021. This is what you train for, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably, uh, yeah, I, I trained hard last, uh, last period, so uh, yeah, that it paid out at school, of course. Yeah, it was a hard race, and uh, I think a hard race is really good for a team. Uh, because we have so much strong riders and uh, yeah I think we did a really great job Neve was the whole time in the breakaway and uh, in the end uh, Anna did a really great job for me uh, that, that helped me a lot of uh, yeah that helped me really much in the sprint that last 2k was more like oh let's let's try and get away because we again we didn't want to sprint like so <laughs> trying to get away and then came back and then ah, it was a bit like dee da dee da and then yeah we knew with 500 to go it's like yeah okay now it's gonna be a sprint so get ready and then fight for it uh with the final attack of anna van der breggen i reacted and i already felt when i uh, when i opened up my sprint it wasn't really really good but um yeah of course you just try to keep going but Demi was just faster and uh, and also Sicily just passed, so yeah, that's, uh, that's bike racing. Cecilia Utrup Ludwig finished a whisker behind Vollering, with Mariana Voss, winner of the first ever La Course, rounding out the podium in third place. Van der Breggen was fourth, and Grace Brown fifth. It's uh, unbelievable. <laughs> it's really cool, and uh, it's a nice colour. It's almost 
the same colour like uh, our jersey, so it's cool. <laughs> After an excellent season so far, Vollering now leads the UCI Women's World Tour overall standing, with a healthy lead from Annemiek van Vleuten, who was not in France. Mariana Voss is now third, Elisa longo Borghini fourth, and Anna van der Breggen fifth. It's really nice bonus for today, I didn't expect it at the start of today. Uh, yeah, because I guess the goal for our team is, is to win the race. And um, But yeah, it's really nice to, to pull off a really hard race and a, and a really good uh, team effort. Um, take the win and also take away a nice bonus jersey uh, for myself too, so that's just nice. In the young rider classification, Neve Fisher-Black has moved into top spot, with Maria Novolodskaya dropping to second place. Evita Music is third, Emma Jurgensen fourth, and Misha Bredevold fifth. 